Hi again from the garden, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. If you're new to my channel, I grow cut flowers in zone 5A in Northwest Iowa. And today I am out here planting my tulip bulbs. Now I have about 5,000 tulip bulbs to plant, which is gonna be a lot of work, but it is before eight o'clock in the morning. It's already in the mid 60s out here, which is just totally crazy for November in Iowa. So today is the day because tomorrow we have a big cold front coming through and the highs are gonna start being in the 20 and 30s. So I need to get these done today. So anyway, before I get busy digging my trenches, I wanna show you where all of my tulips are going this year. Okay, so this is the area of the garden where all of my tulips are going. You can see I have landscape fabric spanning all the way over to the greenhouse, and these rows were where all of my zinnias were planted this year. I have already torn up one area of landscape fabric here. Um, I need to go ahead and remove these, and I'm going to be planting my tulips in four foot width um, trenches. So I am hoping I can fit all of my tulips in this area. It is a pretty big area, and when you grow tulips for cut flowers, you space them really, really close, like eggs in a carton. And once I get ready to start putting my bulbs in the trenches, I will show you how I do this. Um, but basically, the first thing I need to do is tear up this landscape fabric. I need to mark out where my trenches are going to go, and then I need to start digging the trenches. The trenches, again, are gonna be four feet wide, and they need to be about six inches deep. So I'm going to go ahead and get started doing that and then we'll start planting these tulip bulbs. Okay you guys, so my trench is dug. It is about, oh I'd say 13 or 14 feet long four feet or so wide. It took me about 45 minutes. If you have never dug a trench for tulips before, it is not the most fun job, but definitely worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this trench planted because then I'll know how many tulips fit in one this size and I'll know how many more to dig. Okay, so I'm back outside. I am ready to start planting my bulbs in the hole. The first thing I'm going to do is put down some fertilizer. I'm completely out of bulb tone, so I'm going to use this Biotone starter fertilizer. I'm just gonna sprinkle this in the hole. Okay, then I also have my tags pre-made, which I will be putting in kind of along the way once I get all the bulbs in. This first variety I'm planting is called Icoon which is absolutely beautiful. And when you plant tulip bulbs, you wanna make sure that the point goes up. And I'll put a close up up on the screen of this, but a tulip bulb, you can clearly see the bottom is flat, that's where the roots come out. And then the point at the top, that's where the growth comes out. So you wanna make sure to put the point up and the root part down. And when you plant tulips for cut flowers, you're putting them really close together like eggs in an egg carton. When you grow tulips for cut flowers, you're planting them as annuals. And so when you harvest the flower, you're pulling the whole entire thing, bulb and all. Because if you're cutting the foliage off of the bulb, it may or may not bloom the next year because letting the foliage die back is what gives it the nutrients to bloom next year. So that's why when you're growing for cut flowers, you're able to plant them so close and then harvest the whole thing. Now you could try to plant these bulbs next year. You may get a couple leaves, but you may not get foliage for another three years. And so when you're planting these for cut flowers, it's pretty much a waste to replant the bulbs when you probably aren't even gonna get them to flower the next year. So that's why tulips are treated as annuals for cut flowers. Okay, I'm gonna see how many I can get planted in this trench and then I will probably have to start digging another one.
Okay, so I just want to give you a quick update. Here is 1,000 tulips. I'm making a dent, you guys. I am only about a quarter of the way through, but I just want to show you something interesting. So not all tulips are the same size. So here's a close-up for you guys. So this is called Apricot Impression. Those are about twice the size as these, which are called Cummins. So I clearly could not fit as many tulips in this space as I could this space. I thought you guys might just find that interesting. And again, just so you guys can see, you put the point side up and the root side down. All right, time to keep moving. Okay, you guys, so I'm making headway. I got my second trench dug, and again, these are four feet wide, about 13 to 14 feet long, and six inches deep, and I am putting the Biotone Starter Fertilizer in, and I have 200 bulbs in here already. So, if I fit another 1,000 in this trench, that will be 2,000 bulbs done. Um, I have 900 in the fridge that are cooling for a special project. More on that later. So that's 2,900. So I may have another 1,000 to 1,500 to plant after that. And that means maybe I'll only have to dig one more trench unless I save some aside for my high tunnel. Uh, I just found out I got approved for my building permit. So yes, I will be putting in a high tunnel. So maybe I should save some bulbs for that. Hmm, that might be something to think on. Anyway, I'm going to keep moving. I will show you everything when I'm done. Okay, you guys, so all of my tulips are in the ground. What a relief. Um, I'm standing in the corner of my garden here by all my crates because it's out of the wind. Yesterday, it was in the mid 60s. I was out here planting in a t-shirt. Today, it's like 32. It is so cold outside and windy. So I am so glad to have these in the ground. So here is a picture of what all three trenches look like before they were covered. And in these three trenches in total, if I counted correctly, I have 3,100 bulbs. I am so excited to see those bloom next spring. Now here is the area covered with dirt. And you can see the white tags there. That marks each variety. And on the tag also says how many of each variety that I planted. Now that is not all the bulbs that I have to plant. I have 900 in the fridge now that are set aside for a very special spring project. I will share more about that in the spring. And then I have a few hundred left that didn't fit in those trenches that when I get my high tunnel put up, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and plant those in the high tunnel because um, for one reason, I'm gonna put down compost and it'll be super easy to plant those. And for another reason, then I'll be able to test out how tulips grow in a high tunnel for me. So. Um, it's okay that I didn't get them planted out in the garden. But anyway, I am really excited to see those bloom next spring. I cannot wait to share those with you guys because I am growing so many amazing varieties this year. I will link at the end of this video, the video where I shared all the varieties of tulips that I ordered because there are some really, really awesome ones. So anyway, um, stay tuned for more gardening and videos uh, throughout the winter. I'm going to share my top cut flowers, my experiences through the year, and then my plans for next year. And I will try to do footage when we put the high tunnel up. So stay tuned. We'll see you soon. I did also want to explain again in this video why we treat tulips as annuals and plant new bulbs every year. I get a lot of questions on my videos. And growing tulips for cut flowers is very different than when you plant them in your landscaping. 
If you're growing them in your landscaping and you cut the flower and the foliage, the bulb doesn't have the chance to replenish its nutrients and it will not grow flowers the next year. You may get a leaf or two, but it's not going to flower. As flower farmers, we harvest the bulb and all. That not only gives us longer stems, but it doesn't give us wasted space on bulbs that may not flower the following year. It can take up to three years for a tulip bulb to flower once again after all the foliage is removed.